God bless you. Welcome, welcome, welcome once again to e-prayers. And on e-prayers is the prayer cafe, the only prayer cafe in the whole wide world. Why do we call it the prayer cafe? Because this is where we pray. We make prayer. We pray all kinds of prayer. And today we are going to be praying once more. Uh, I thank you for joining us today. I thank you for joining us today. Those that are watching on Periscope, those that are watching on Facebook Live, on YouTube, and on the SPN Network. God bless you. God bless you. I appreciate you joining us again. And I believe that as you join us in prayer, that God is going to answer your prayer. That there will be an edification in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Today, we are going to be praying. We are going to pray. We are going to pray. The title of our prayer session today is Destroying Midnight Arrows. Destroying Midnight Arrows. What do I mean by destroying midnight arrows? You see, most of the problem of man begins in the night. When you come back from work, you, you, you sleep and you, you want to rest from your hard day of labor. That is when the enemy begins their day. That is when they begin to perpetrate evil against you. That is when they begin to perpetrate evil against you and your family. When you are weak, that is when the enemy tries to, 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 to come against you, to conquer and defeat you. Uh, the Bible says that when man was asleep, that is when the enemy came to sow evil tears among the good plant. Uh, let me tell you, when you decide to sleep, uh, you don't pray before you sleep. The enemy can come and take over uh, what God has given to you. The enemy can come and destroy what God has given unto you. The enemy can come to sow evil and demonic seed among what God has given to you. Today we will be dealing on the topic, destroying midnight arrows. Destroying midnight arrows. Uh, before we enter straight into prayer, uh, we are going to be reading. We are going to be reading by a Bible verse. We are going to read a Bible verse so that we can pray from the Bible verse. We are going to be reading a Bible verse. We are going to read Psalm chapter 11. In the Lord put I my trust. How say ye to my soul, flee as a bird to your mountain. For lo, the wicked bend their bow. They make ready their arrow upon the string that they may privily shoot at the upright in heart. The enemy prepare their bows to shoot at the upright in their heart. Listen to me, you don't need to be guilty before the enemy will come and accuse you. You don't need to be guilty before the enemy will decide to shoot that arrow against you. Listen, it is our time we begin to pray. Some people always ask this question, why me, why me, why me? You see, the enemy is the accuser of the brethren. All he wants to do is to make sure that you fall down. All he wants to do is to make sure that you are, you are disoriented. All he wants to do is to put you in confusion, to put you in calamity, to put you in chaos, so that you will not be able to manage your life as God has wished for you. Uh, we will be reading another Bible verse before we enter again into, into our intense prayer this, uh, this day. Let us read the second Bible verse. Now Elisha was fallen sick of his sickness whereof he died. And Joash, the king of Israel, came down unto him and wept over his face and said, O oh, my father, my father, the chariot of Israel and the horsemen thereof. And Elisha said unto him, Take bow and arrows. And he took unto him bow and arrows. And he said to the king of Israel, Put thine hand upon the bow. And he put his hand upon it. And Elisha put his hands upon the king's hands. And he said, Open the window eastward. And he opened it. Then Elisha said, Shoot. And he shot. And he said, The arrow of the Lord's deliverance. And the arrow of deliverance from Syria. For thou shalt smite the Syrians in Aphek. That Bible verse, Second Kings chapter 13, Second Kings chapter 13, is telling us about uh, the direction that Prophet Elisha gave to the king. The, the direction that Prophet Elisha gave to the king. We are still dealing on the topic, deal, uh, destroying demonic arrows, destroying midnight arrows. Why I read that verse is to show you that a direction that is made 
by a prophet can be changed by an enemy. You see, the enemy always do, does something that is counterfeit. He always does something that is counterfeit to make sure that you and I does not enjoy the peace that God has given to us. So, you see, that direction that the prophet gave to the enemy, up to today, the enemy still do uh, that direction. They take an arrow and they shoot it to the ground to make sure that your life is destroyed. But we are going to be destroying those midnight arrows in the name of Jesus. We are going to read the last the last Bible verse, as we enter straight into our prayer. When I shall send upon them the evil arrows of famine, which shall be for their destruction, and which I will send to destroy you, and I will increase the famine upon you, and will break your staff of bread. That verse I'm telling you about, Ezekiel, the book of Ezekiel, is telling us about the, the arrow of famine. The arrow of famine. There are different kinds of arrow that can be shot in your life, against your life. The arrow of famine to make sure that you don't have in abundance. The arrow of poverty to make sure that everything bad is dried up. The arrow against your marriage. The arrow against your health. Against your health. The arrow that brings sickness to you and your family. We are going to be destroying the arrow in the name of Jesus. The arrow that brings confusion. Listen to me. At times the enemy shoot that arrow against your mind to make sure that you are confused. And when that arrow is being shot against you and you don't reverse that arrow back to the sender you will begin to remain in confusion that is why you see that some people go mental some people go mad because these arrows have been shot towards them in the night but today we are going to be praying in the name of jesus and we are going to be reversing every demonic arrow that has been shot to you that has been shot to our family in the mighty name of jesus we are going to return them back to sender in the mighty name of jesus wherever you are right now i want you to lift up your voice and begin to pray that every demonic arrow that has been sent your way, Father, let it return back to sender in the mighty name of Jesus. Every midnight arrow that is flying in the atmosphere as I begin to pray tonight, ah, yellow boss, mighty Father, I intercept and I return the arrow back to sender. Every arrow that has been shot to my finances, every arrow that has been shot to my marriage, every arrow that has been shot to, to, to my, uh, my children's education, every arrow that has been shot to our finances, to our business, every arrow that has been shot towards our life, uh, to bring confusion, to bring sadness, to bring pain, uh, to bring sickness, uh, as we begin to pray Heavenly Father, let it return back to the sender, whosoever that wants uh, us to be sick, uh, uh, whosoever that has sent that demonic arrow our way, oh Lord, let it return back to sender, let it return back to sender, Raka Zipro Godega, Lepra Azedeleva, let the arrow of the enemy return back to sender, let the devices of the enemy return back to sender, let the arrows that the enemy have shot into our life, into our destiny, into our marriage, into our finances, we return it back to sender, Rabadaska, Ikopor, Antela, Lobrogozonda, Ibrogodo, Sakantaba, Irugusupata, Tatatuprakata, Ikrakatu. Gutumata, Terede, Tuskapa, Ibogo, Dongo, Ginganga, Kruskapa, Oh Lord God Almighty, every demonic arrow that has been shot in the middle of the night against us, Oh Lord, we return it back to sender, we return those demonic arrows back to sender, Rebede, Tintorata, Lekra Zandelinos, Rabadeblanto, Ragadela Kraskuba, Regadele Gade, Lebrago Dolo, Kraskiba, Regadalapa, Rakalaga <laughs> Every demonic arrow that has been sent to my life, to my finances, to my marriage, let it return back to sender. Every 
arrow of sickness, every arrow of sickness, we return back to sender, we return back to sender, we return back to sender, we return back to sender. Somebody lift up your voice wherever you are right now. Begin to pray, begin to intercede for your family, begin to pray. Every demonic arrow, let it return back to sender, let it return back to sender. Maradelia, Sama Kupa, Ikraguska, Rekatapayata, Ilatapatapata, Rekusatai, Redabosa, Merusa, Rakadepai, Ilota, Karusa, Manamana no Supringa Supra, Rakade Katula, Lepra Asa, Epayata, 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 Rakazatapa, Erantolapa, Rekatapa, every demonic arrow against our health, against our health. Hey, return back to sender in Jesus name thank you Jesus listen to me some people that begin to fall sick not just because of physical reasons it's because that, that they have sent demonic arrows your way some of you they have sent arrows to your heart they have sent arrows to your to your lungs they have sent arrows to your kidney they have sent arrows to your low to, to, to your intestine that is why you begin to fall sick some people they have sent arrows to your blood that's why you begin to have cancer some of you they have sent arrow to eh, eh, all the parts of your body that is why you begin to feel pains all over your body let me tell you something not only until you begin to reverse the arrow that they have sent your way. Uh, listen to me, when uh, an enemy sent an arrow to you and the arrow get to you, the arrow has a poison. There is a poison in the arrow. You need to re- you need to inject that poison out of your body. You are going to pray that every poison uh, that is inside of you uh, as a result of any demonic arrow that has penetrated into your body, as you begin to pray, let it be flow out by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Let it be flushed out by the blood of Jesus. Let it be flushed out every poison as a result of any midnight arrow that has been established, that has been thrown to you, that has been shot into your life. Oh Lord God Almighty, we return it back to sender. We return it back to sender by the blood of Jesus. We flush it out by the blood of Jesus. We flush it out by the blood of Jesus. We flush it out by the blood of Jesus, we flush it out by the blood of Jesus. We flush it out every poison in your system. We flush it out every tumor, every fibroid, any sickness that the enemy has penetrated into your body with. As we begin to pray, we return it back to sender and we decree and we declare let that poison be removed in the name of Jesus. Let that poison be removed in the name of Jesus. Makata, Parasianta, Recatalamansita, Itetanano Sura, Recaparan Soto, Iracanta Sitaba, Irada Tatapa, Crassantolo, Recapaya, Ratapa, Epaya, 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 Les Camaruta, Recasatapa, Recataya, Rapatola, Lecasata Catapara, Lepracasa, Eranamasa, Racatapa, Leparasita, Eracatata Tara. Hey, Thank you, Jesus. Listen to me, viewers all over the world. Some people you are on wheelchair, not because you, be, you, you, you fell sick or not because you fell down during the snow, but because the enemy has sent an arrow of paralysis. They have sent the arrow to cripple your life. Listen to me, some of you enter into accident because of these midnight arrows. They have orchestrated the accident in the realms of the spirit and they have shot that arrow towards you that's why all of a sudden uh, you 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 did not do any heavy labor you did not carry any heavy things and all of a sudden your waist begins to uh, you begin to feel pain on your waist all of a sudden your leg begins to be heavy because the enemy has thrown that arrow to your leg all of a sudden your spinal cord begins to pain you you begin to feel pain in your spinal cord these are the uh, orchestrations of the enemy these are the, the, the orchestrations of the 
enemy. Now until you pray and reverse these demonic arrows, they cannot leave you. They cannot leave you. You need to, you need to send it back to the sender and you need to remove the poison, the effect that it has in your life. We are praying, oh Lord God Almighty, any poison. Hey, mighty God, let it return back to sender. 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 Let me tell you something, uh, dear viewers. You are married and you begin to fight your wife. All of a sudden, there is confusion. There is an aggravated confusion in your house. All of a sudden, you begin to fight each other. Listen to me. There are, there are, there are, there are physical side to this quarrel, but also there is a spiritual side to this problem because the enemy has shot an arrow towards your marriage. The enemy has shot an arrow towards your children's mind. That is why your children will look at you in the morning and they will begin to insult you. You are a parent, but your children begin to disobey you because the enemy has shot an arrow to their brains and you are going to pray today that every orchestration of the enemy in the life of your children in the life of your partner that as you begin to pray let it be reversed in the name of Jesus let your family member begin to act in the in the in, in, in the being that God has made them in in the identity that God has made them in Rakazila Pa we remove that poison we remove the arrow in the name of Jesus Paris satata every seed that the enemy has sown during the course of the night in our life in our family in our business in our marriages in our health oh Lord God Almighty let it return back to sender by fire batonda let it return back to sender marasa takatela kota rentelaman sopra rarabantayata leto sapaya Thank you, precious Father. Thank you, Lord God Almighty, that we are victorious today. We are victorious today in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, that every demonic arrow that the enemy has sent to our life, we return it back to sender right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, precious Father. Thank you, Yahweh. Thank you, Lord God Almighty. We bless your name for today we are victorious. We thank you, O Lord, that we shall rule over our enemy. We thank you, Lord, that we shall rule over our enemies. We shall defeat them. We shall conquer them. At every side, from the east, we shall conquer. From the west, we shall conquer. From the north, we shall conquer. From the south, we shall conquer. Thank you, precious Father. We bless your holy name, Lord God Almighty. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. God bless you viewers all over the world. I thank you for praying with us this day. And I believe that every arrow that has been shot into your life will return back to sender in the mighty name of Jesus. That poison that the enemy has placed in your family, that poison that he has placed in your business, that poison in the name of Jesus, we flush it out in the mighty name of Jesus. We flush it out your system. We flush it out your business. We flush it out your marriage. We flush it out your company. Anything that you lay your hands to do shall prosper. Anything that you lay your fingers to do will prosper from today ends forth in the name of Jesus. Miracles shall follow you. Signs and wonders shall follow you. You shall be the head and not the tail. You shall be victorious and not be a defeat. You shall not be defeated. You cannot be defeated because Elohim is with you. Because the angels of the Most High God are with you and your family in the mighty name of Jesus. I bless you in the name of the Lord God Almighty. I bless your family. I cover them with the blood of Jesus. That as this arrow has returned back to the sender, it will kill that person that has sent it your will in the name of Jesus. Thank you, precious Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you, viewers all over the world. We thank you for joining us in today's prayer. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Do us a favor by sharing this prayer with somebody. You don't know who this prayer will be a blessing to. As it has been a blessing to you, it can also be a blessing to your friends, to your family, to your neighbors. In the name of Jesus. God bless you. We'll be coming your way again with another powerful prayer. Another strategic and powerful prayer in the mighty name of Jesus. God bless you. Shalom. Peace and life unto you. In Jesus' name we pray. Remain blessed. And remain under the shadow of the Almighty. You are blessed in Jesus' name. Amen.